Hey YouTube, it's your old pal Bromine, back again with a comic book haul. Uh, a local comic shop had a pretty good sale this last weekend, actually it was two weekends ago. Um, they were doing, well the day I went it was 70% off all back issues. I think it was 40% off recent issues, so within the last few months. Um, and then trade paperbacks were, uh, I think they were 80% off, unless they were Marvel, and then they were only 50% off. Um, if I could have waited a day, which I couldn't, I had plans, but then they were doing 80% off of, I did say 70% off, 70% off the day I went, 80% off back issues, I think still 80% off of um, trade paperbacks. The other thing they were doing, which was really cool, but I wasn't able to, um, participate in is on that last day where they were doing 80% off if you bought a long box for six dollars you could fill it completely for thirty dollars regardless of what the books were um, well I'm sorry they were back issue books uh, this comic shop doesn't really have a lot of older uh, key issues um, it was kind of more recent stuff but still a long box probably holds 300 comics for $30 or $36, so you're getting them for about 10 cents a piece, 16 cents a piece, or something of that nature. Um, as it was, there wasn't a lot that I was in, interested in, but I did find some books. So um, let me go ahead and show you what they were. So, uh, first thing I got was uh, the Umbrella Academy, uh, the first uh, trade paperback, which was the Apocalypse Suite. I am trying to collect the single issues uh, from this series. I think I've got three out of the six. But it's an interesting uh, read. Kind of reminds me of uh, Royal Tannenbaums with superheroes. So if you guys like that movie, especially the first first two issues or chapters, uh, really kind of reminded me of that. It was, uh, I wouldn't say it was funny, but it was interesting um, to read that. So there's a trade paperback that I bought. Again, I got that for three or four dollars, which is pretty good. Um, all the rest of these comics I got for seventy percent off. Um, I got Avengers Initiative number fourteen, number twenty-seven, and number nine. All Star Superman number seven. I think I paid a dollar for each of these, like a dollar ten or something. Uh, Invincible, number 73, and number 36. Uh, this is an interesting one. I just saw these there. I um, thought I'd go for some image, some 90s extreme image comics. So, Gen 13, number 30. Number 31. I know I got number 32. Where's it? Ah, here it is. 32. 33. 34. 35. 36. And 37. And I had. I have the comics 1 through 29 or something like that so I just picked up the next 8 that they had they had some more but they weren't all in order so I picked up the ones I could that were in order uh, next on the list I got Guardians of the Galaxy which was the series previous to this current one that's number 7 uh, number 5 and number 14 Oh, and number nine. All right, next up, Astro City. Uh, oh, Astro City: The Dark Age, number one, and number three, and no. Oh. Oh, I guess that's Astro City, The Dark Age, book three. And I don't, book three, number one, I don't know if this is, which book that one is. I'll have to look that up. And then this is Dark Age, 
Astro City Dark Age, book two, number one. If you guys aren't reading Astro City, if you enjoy Alex Ross covers, these aren't the, his best, but if you look at some of the other um, Astro City covers, um, they're pretty cool. He hand paints everything, and uh, he's got that kind of really realistic style of um, painting. Okay, so the last two I got were I Zombie number uh, number twelve and I Zombie number thirteen. So those are the comics I got at the local comic shop um, sale. Uh, upcoming in the next couple weeks is another quarterly Sacramento comic convention, so I'll be attending that. Really excited about this because uh, I and I'm going to butcher his name. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to go by how he goes. John K, who um, created Ren and Stimpy, is going to be there. So that's awesome. That was a favorite of mine in college. So I've got some um, some old comics from that. He didn't draw the comics, but he created. So I'm going to have him sign those, and maybe, hopefully, crossing my fingers get a sketch from him. I think he does do a sketch if you uh, contribute to a uh, charity. So I am cross crossing my fingers that he's going to do that. So pretty excited about that. That should be at the end of September. Hopefully I will have some comments to show you by then. But in any case, see you next time, guys.